So, in this video, we're gonna learn how to change the screen resolution. What you need is you need an option panel with these buttons inside. If you already have an option panel, great. You just need to remember you need the buttons with the screen size you want. So, if you don't have an option panel, go to my previous videos and watch how to make this awesome, easy, creative option panel. Now, for the option panel explanation. In the option panel, as you see here, we have the V2 setting panel, which is this part, which have the buttons holder, which is these four buttons. I have one called low screen, normal screen, high screen, and ultra screen. I'm going to rename them to 0, 1, 2, and 3. You don't have to rename them, it's just easier that way. Okay, so now I know this button is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, then I'm going to create a empty, em, empty game object, rename it to menu controller. But since I've already created one in the previous video, I don't have to create one now. Then I'm going to create a new script. Go into C sharp, create a new script, call it menu controller settings you can call it what you want but if you follow my previous video you do not need to make this one we already have one so gonna delete the one I just created and go into a previous script doesn't really like me today okay menu controller open it up all this, don't worry about it, it's for previous tutorials, it has nothing to do with what we gotta do now. All you need to know is that we have the normal things like void update, and on the void update you will write public void set quality two parentheses and curly parentheses. Like this. You don't you should not write this. This is for calling this function which you're not gonna use. So what we're gonna do is make a new function. So down here, we're gonna write void and call it set screen res. And we're gonna okay. So this is our function. This one we wanna copy and take up to the public void set qualities. And now it can be called. There we go. Now it can be called. So down here, we're gonna make something similar to this for our previous viewers. So it's gonna be almost the same. We're gonna have a string, but not in levels, we're gonna have it in index. So we're gonna write string index because now we're working with something else. So it's equal to unity engine dot event system with this event system dot current dot current selected game object dot name so this one is again forgetting the name of the button getting the name of what we pressed and if that name is 0, 1, or 2, something gonna happen. So we're gonna write switch index and then curly braces like this. And what we're gonna switch? Well, in case someone hits 0, then what's gonna happen? Well, what's gonna happen is we're gonna set screen dot set screen resolution to what we're gonna set it to 0552 648 and define true why we're gonna set it to true I just need to look if my mic went out it did not we're gonna set it to true because then it's full screen if it sets to false, it will not be full screen. So we do like this, and then write break. 
okay this one we have to write for every button we have so case one case two and case three so I change all these information and we're gonna have seven six eight and I think this one was seven nine six oh jumped up sorry and one three six zero and zero one zero two zero oh wait it's one zero eight zero so this will be our code this is for changing the screen res resolution it's pretty easy to write uh, I don't hope this part all of this will confuse you you just need to write the public void set qualities under your void update so you have void update curly parenthesis and under that you write this one you put in the command, you write the function of this command down here, as we did, you save it, you go into Unity, let it compile. When it's compiled, you press play. What you will realize when you press play and press the button, nothing is gonna happen. Why is that? Well, it's because we have not assigned the buttons yet. So let's take all these buttons. You mm -hmm. click on one, shift click on the lowest one gonna to unclick what's gonna happen well unclick take the functions from the menu controller in here set the functions here oh just have to update again there we go oh. the functions here set them to menu controller set quality so now the buttons work so we can click on each of these now but not when we play game here because nothing will change we need to build our project to change it